So I'm gonna give you a warning. <sighs> I've had a lot of caffeine today. I was feeling pretty tired, so I... Are my hands supposed to be shaking like this? Anyhow, sometimes I'm just hanging out with people, talking about the weather, the news, bisexuality. And you know what? Some people say some pretty f***ed up stuff. A lot of the time I know they don't mean to. It's just ignorance, but I don't know how to respond. I'm just sitting there like, what? What? Ugh. So, I thought we could dispel some of the myths about bisexuality. Let's start with what it is. Bisexuality is a sexual orientation. Who you're attracted to, who you might want to have an emotional connection with, or who you want to bang, get jiggy, have sexual intercourse with. Robin Oaks, who's a bisexual activist, says someone who's bisexual acknowledges in themselves the potential to be attracted romantically or sexually to people of more than one sex, not necessarily at the same time, not necessarily in the same way, and not necessarily to the same degree. You get it. What Robin is really saying is that sexuality exists on a spectrum. One of the biggest, hugest mistakes our sex negative society makes is putting everything in black and white. And you know, black and white is sexy at like a funeral, but sex is not black and white. First by sexy myth, bisexuals are attracted to men and women equally. The only thing that bisexuals have in common is their attraction to traditional masculine and feminine men and women. Some like mostly women, some like mostly men, some like half and half. It's highly variable. Check out some of your fellow Sex Plus community members talking about their bisexuality. My name is Kirsten and I identify as bisexual. Hi, my name's Rosie. I identify as bisexual. My name is Chelsea Colbert and I'm a bisexual. I am bisexual and I'm not afraid to admit it. I am pretty much an out bisexual. I identify as a bisexual largely because my brain tells me so. I have had feelings for both boys and girls. I do not believe that a reproductive organ should determine who one can or cannot love. You might be asking yourself, why are they all women? This is just an ode to how taboo bisexuality is, especially among males. But let it be known, they do exist. Bisexuality myth number two. Bisexuals are just confused. Just because bisexuals don't conform to black and white ideologies of sexuality does not mean that they are confused. Rather, you are probably the one that's confused. <sighs> Would you say someone's sexually confused for being attracted to both brunettes and blondes, tall and short, different races? Well, for bisexuals, genitals are no different. Bisexy myth number three. Bisexuals are greedy. Uh, this claim doesn't even make sense in my brain. Does not compute. The implication of this accusation is that bisexuals want everything. But that's absurd. If I'm at a party and there's a sample platter with a bunch of foods I've never tried before, I'm gonna sample a few. Does that make me greedy? Well, no, not unless I ate the whole damn plate. That's because greed doesn't refer to a range of attractions. It refers to excessive attraction. Bisexy myth number four. Bisexuality is just a face. My mom does kind of think it's just a phase, but it's not. <laughs> it is not a phase. For some people, their sexual orientation will change throughout their lifetime. This might be an experimental thing, but this doesn't apply across the board. I think the biggest struggle with being bisexual is that it's looked down upon. It's really frowned upon for the most part. People think you're faking, that you don't actually like girls. Telling someone that their bisexuality isn't real or that it's just a phase is just an attempt to invalidate their sexual orientation. That's called biphobia. It's homophobia's cousin. It's speculated that Abraham Lincoln had relations with both sexes. The only reason that people think about it like that now and not then is because of the draconian laws and social changes ushered in with Victorian era. Freud's painting of homosexuality as a mental disease probably didn't help anything. And those taboos are what brought me right here in front of my camera talking about it in the first place. Love you all. See you next week. Except your mom. Oh. What?